Hello, my friends. I'm going to be doing a flip cup today, and I have a friend here, an artist friend here uh, watching. Angie, say hello to everybody. Hello. <laughs> Angie's a marvelous artist. I'm going to link her Fine Arts America link down below if she doesn't mind, so you can take a look at her work. She does, uh, she's done some pouring, but she's mostly is a brush painter and amazing work I want you to check out. So, we're doing a flip cup today with silicone, and I'm using a different medium, um, similar to what I usually use, but I will detail it all down below as always. I'm gonna fill up these two small cups, and here we go. I've added a little silicone to everything but the white and gold, and I'll explain the colors as I go. White. This is thalo blue, to which I've added a little bit of metallic black. So I'll get a little bit of a shimmer and it just creates a gorgeous color. This is ocean green, kind of an aqua. And this is, most of these are master's touch. Um, this is the gold. This is thalo green. I think I also added some metallic black to it as well. And I've kind of arranged them dark, uh, light, dark, light, dark. It's kind of my MO. And this is lake blue. would work and they come out really cool mm -hmm. and I would never have tried them. Okay, now we're going to flip on there. Oh, that flipped nice and neatly, didn't it? <laughs> so I'll go this way and that way and here we go. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Ooh, I like that. The only difference in the medium I'm using today, my friends, is um, usually I use Liquitex pouring medium with the glue, but I'm using um, Liquitex gloss medium and varnish. I'm assuming it will be similar. Isn't that funny? I mean, it filled up the cups exactly the same, and they're so different. I like the stripiness there. Okay. I'm going to move that around a little bit, then I'll hit it with a torch to bring up some cells. Got a caterpillar there. I'm going to run a, a skewer. Oop, oop, I'm going to drop a skewer and <laughs> run a skewer through that caterpillar right off the bat. Oh, there's another one. Oh, well. I kind of like to paint a little on the thick side for a flip cup, and I may have thinned it out a little too much. You can hear my dog snoring from in this room. Okay, now I'm going to hit it with a torch. looks pretty boring at this point, but... Let's see what happens. Some cells, I expected more than that, but they will grow as I tilt. this very much. <laughs> oh, there's Slinky. Everybody knows Slinky. No, I can't come in. Oh, 
I think I could have done with less paint. But as you can see, the cells will grow as you as you tilt. I like to stir the silicone in well because it's easier um, to clean up. Doesn't leave the you know, a lot of residue when it's mixed in well. Aren't those cute? Look at that ugly thing there. I may have to tilt that whole thing off. I am. Um, I dislike it that much. Turn it towards you. Goodbye. Okay, now what? I'll bring it back a little bit. Um, it's coming along. I, I like the colors. I, I don't love that white streak in the center there. I mean, but this is a pour that could easily be embellished, I think. Looks like it could be underwater, right? But a, a sea turtle or something. Angie swims with the, uh, what are they called? Honus. Honus in Hawaii. Wow, she gets a lot of wonderful photos. And you're welcome to any of them. Oh, thank you. All right, let me hit with the torch again. Yeah, I think maybe painting right over that and one coming right at you would be fun. Um, I think I'm done tilting. Take my gloves off. Hit with the torch again. Now I'll get some little cells. I, I love a sprinkling of little ones. Along the darker, the bigger ones, right? They're just subtle, but they are there. And I'm also popping some bubbles. Yeah, these little gold ones there. Let me bring you in for a closer look. I just love the shape of the cells you get with a glue mix. Nice and round, and they will hold their shape. This is pretty much how it will look when it dries. And I think the the gold in there will be very pretty when it dries. Yeah. I'll give it a I'll give it a seven on a scale of one to ten. <laughs> It's not, it's not up there with my um, wow pieces, but it has potential. So <laughs> thank you, Angie, for being with me today. And thank you all for watching. And I'll see you next time.